What's up guys, T-Max here, and I hope you're having a great day. In case you haven't noticed, we're almost at 5,000 subscribers. And I think that's pimpalicious. And so I just want to say thank you guys for all your support. And as awesome as that is, this video is less of a subscriber milestone, more of a update video. As you know, the summer is coming to a close and we're going back to school. And that means me too. In case you don't know, I'm a nursing major at ABAC in Tifton, Georgia. And also in case you don't know, nursing is freaking ridiculous. It's already a very demanding major with the classes and labs and study time and everything, but there's also clinicals where I go and I work at the hospital for free. But the ABAC nursing program challenges its students, so they make it much harder. I tell you that because that means me going back to school my video posting may become a little sporadic. I may every now and again miss a day or maybe even two days, but I am not quitting YouTube, I'm not giving up, it's just I have to do good in school or I won't become a nurse and I'll go broke and I'll die. No money is no home, no food, which equals dead T-Max. And it's not about becoming rich or anything, it's just YouTube doesn't supply an income to me. But as soon as school is over and I start working, then it's just going to be nursing and YouTube. If YouTube supplied enough income that I could just scrape by and survive, that would be great. But it's not the case. So until then, I need to focus on school and getting a good job, but this is my last semester. So beyond school, making my posts a little sporadic, the next video you guys can expect to see after this is a setup video. Since my first setup video, I've gotten a lot of new equipment and I've learned a lot. And I don't plan on getting any new equipment for a while, so I thought, why not go ahead and just make a setup video? And I just want to clarify, I'm not making a setup video to boast about my setup, but to show anybody who's interested in doing YouTube gaming what I use and what they may need to start. Because when I first started YouTube, I had no idea what I needed, so I searched around and found these setup videos, and a lot of them were just terrible. Either they didn't have everything I was looking for, or it was just literally a guy walking around with his camera verbalizing what he's seeing. And if you go back and watch my first setup video, you'll see that I really tried to take it to the next level as far as professionalism and entertainment. Keep it a fast pace and even laying down some music underneath it. And you don't have to have everything that I use, it's more of just a guideline. The amount of my equipment and the quality of my equipment, I, I chose that because I just, I take great pride in my work. And it is work. But after the setup video, expect to see another funny montage. Or montage is, depending on how many clips I pull from my previous videos. It seemed to me like you guys really enjoyed the previous funny montages, and so I've made a few more videos, so I thought, why not? I like seeing them because it reminds me of the games I played, and it's like my favorite parts of the footage. It also helps me to see where I was at the time and where I want to take my channel next. Speaking of... After the setup video and the funny montage, I'm going to go back to the six original PS4 games that I founded my channel on. Because I never finished them! And I don't know about you, but I would like to see the end of those games. What games am I talking about? Saints Row 4, The Evil Within, Far Cry 4, Dying Light, Shadow of Mordor, and Alien Isolation. And hey, I know you guys could go to another YouTuber who has already finished the game and watch them, but I... I want to experience it myself. And we've already started those games together, and so I wanted to finish those games together. You know, that makes me think it's so cool about video games. It's like the game developer creates a journey and invites the player to come along. But when I play games, that's what I do. I, I get in there and I walk that journey. I make allies, I make enemies, and I save the world or destroy it. <laughs> but I think it's so cool that when I play video games, I can feel a bond forming between me and my allies, between me and against my enemies, and a desire to see the fulfillment of the plot. But you guys are watching me play the game, so I'm led to believe that you form a bond with the game as well, with its characters and its storyline. And if you're forming a bond with the game and I'm forming a bond with the game and we're both forming a bond at the same time and taking a journey together, I think that it only makes sense that we're forming a bond. I think it's so cool because a video game is a digital journey and there's tons of them. And so through video games and YouTube, you and I can share all these journeys together. And so while we're sharing digital lives together, we're also sharing real lives together. And so thinking a little bit 
more about how video games are digital journeys. I remember when I was younger, just how easy it was for me just to sit down and get plugged in and focused for hours. I would just block everything out and get lost in this digital reality. It was like real life, but better. It was such an inviting escape from reality and all the harshness in real life. In this game world, I had friends. I didn't have to struggle to make those friends and the, the bonds were so quickly formed. We were united by a mission, a common goal, a, a common enemy. They just showed up like they were given to me and they stayed with me. They were loyal. If they survived the game, that is. And most of the time it was dead obvious who my enemies were. They were trying to kill me. They weren't some kind of fake friend who was only a friend when it was easy. And they weren't some bully who picked on me at school every day because I was different. They were a super villain. They hated me because I was trying to thwart some plan of world destruction or world domination. They didn't cut me down just because it made them feel better. And the direction that I needed to go was so plainly laid out for me. The objectives were literally placed right in front of me or on a minimap. Or a little fairy that said, look, look, go here, do that. Great job. Level up. I didn't have to think about it. I was given direction. Not like real life where I have to decide what I want to go to school for, or what I want to do for the rest of my life, what clothes I want to wear, what music I want to listen to, or what people I want to associate with or not associate with. And emotions were just kind of laid out. And very rarely, unless you're like playing Max Payne, was there not a happy ending. And it made so much sense and it felt great. I say all that to say this. Life is hard. Even on the insane difficulty on a game, real life is harder any day. Dark Souls 2 is easier than real life. And I got killed every five seconds in that game. That's how I feel. And so if you feel that way, then know that there's somebody who knows how you feel. But there are countless people that feel like you and me. You're not alone. You're not the only person in the world who feels this way that feels alone or weird or different or just like you're an alien. To know what it feels like to wish that there was a pause button we could press when we just need to step back and think about something. Or that there was a reset or a load from checkpoint option when we've said or done something that we regret. Or that there was an off button when we've just had enough. We don't want to play this game called real life anymore. We want to go to sleep or we need to play another game. A game that makes us happy. A game that's not so hard. A game where somebody understands us. A game where somebody hears us. That's how I felt my whole life. And so thinking about when we're going back to school, there they are. That's where a lot of the people are that don't understand us. But I want you to think about this. People who hurt people have been hurt by people. And more than likely, they're trying to hurt you so that you will know that they hurt inside. And that's the only way they can communicate that pain. More than likely, the same way they were hurt. Someone who calls you a lot of mean things were probably called mean things themselves. Someone who pushes you around was probably pushed around. So next time someone bullies you or tries to cast you out, remember this. You may have more in common with that person than you think. They may just not be into video games and have that escape from the harshness of reality. And so I want to challenge you. Forgive them. Maybe even offer to be their friend. And I know that sounds crazy. And if you do that, they may laugh at you or they may push you around again. But it's probably because they know that whoever they're hanging out with is watching them. And if they don't reject you, like their friends reject you, their friends will reject them. But listen, if you plant a seed of kindness in somebody's heart, there's no telling when or how that seed may blossom into something awesome. And I really want to clarify something. I am not making my background story up. It's really my story. I'm not making up stuff to relate to you so that you will give me something like money or attention. Because frankly, I don't care about those things. What I care about is that you know that you're loved, that you're not alone. And though life is hard, it gets better. But part of it getting better is understanding why it's the way it is. And also there was a time that I felt alone in this world, like an alien that didn't belong here. And I wanted so badly 
for somebody to see how bad I hurt and to reach out to me. But I didn't know how to reach out to people because all I did was work on a controller. I didn't know how to talk to people. And so unlike in my case, where I felt like nobody understood me and nobody was there for me, I don't want you to have to go through the same thing. You know how I felt and how I feel today. If that's how you feel, then we feel the same. You're not alone. Well guys, that's it. Thank you so much for everything you guys do, for all your support. And just to clarify, when you support this channel, my intentions in this channel are not to become rich and famous. It's just to let the world know Jesus loves them. No matter who you are, where you're from, what you've done or failed to do, Jesus loves you right where you are, just how you are. And that life is hard. And if I could just make you smile just for a moment and brighten your day, then that brightens my day. And that whatever financial support this channel receives goes right back out to those in need. You're not making me rich. You're helping those who don't have. For instance, the T-Mac shirts, 100% of that profit goes to charity. Well guys, what have we talked about? School may cause my posting to be a little sporadic. Next video is going to be a setup video. After that, a funny montage. And then I'm going back to the six PS4 games that I found on this channel on and finishing them out. I'm just going to binge play them, finish them, and get that content out to you as fast as I can. And that, I love you guys. You care for me, I care for you. That's a caring friendship. Thanks again guys for everything. And until next time, T-Max out! If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe for daily videos, and share it with a friend.